Hey all, Susan Winter here. So happy to have you join my channel today. Thank you, YouTube subscribers. Adore you, adore you. And my Thursday group, the Come On for the Live show, I absolutely love working with you. Thank you so much. So today I have a letter and I'm answering it because it's from one of my younger viewers. I have a wide range of people and, and they're trying to figure out with somebody that they think likes them, but they don't know and it's not moving forward. And honestly, this writer is 19, but could easily be 45 because... Knowing how to date nowadays seems to be a skill <laughs> that many people have lost. And when you're with somebody that doesn't know what to do, it can make you doubt yourself. So I am going to read this question and this is from Alexandra. Alexandra, thank you so much. And Alexandra writes, hi, Susan. I recently met a man I have undeniable chemistry with, and I can sense the attraction is mutual. However, I can sense him holding back since after a few dates, which we didn't even kiss, he now keeps inviting me out with his close friends who all keep saying how much they've heard about me rather than seeing me one-on-one. -on -one. Is this a test? Or how do I get back on track? Okay, so now, Alexandra, I know that I read that she was 19. Where did I? I might not have copied this into the script here, but here's the deal. It, as strange as it sounds, there are people who are so new to dating and so kind of inexperienced that they will not even officially ask you on a date, but ask you to like hang out and they'll invite you for these group things. As a matter of fact, you may have heard me say, especially to women who are uncomfortable asking out men, a safe way to get to know a guy, to isolate him and start to bring him into your circle is to invite him to something where there will be other people. That way you're less inclined to get a no, I don't want to go out with you because it's not an official date. As Alexandra says here, a date and she puts it in quotes. So he hasn't made a move, but Alexandra, why do you think that you'll only know that a guy's interested in you if he makes a move? I'd prefer a guy who's consistently trying to see you and secure your time. Did you ever consider, instead of wondering whether he likes you or not and trying to get it back on track, that maybe it's actually on track? Now, for young people, it might be more comfortable to be in a social environment. I actually, if for those of you who saw my movie Best Worst Date, you might have remembered that Crystal, our beautiful star of the show with Troy, she brought her girlfriends on every date she had with a guy. They were like with her in a group. She didn't tell the guy this going into the date. Even when she had a dinner, they'd be in the background at another table. I mean, I was kind of shocked by this, but this was her comfort level, right? So assume that this is your partner's comfort level. What I love about this is you are included. And there's a really great sign here that all of his friends know about you. That's really important. And I don't think people start to realize that what we're trying to do in assessing where we are in getting to know somebody and how much they want to get to know us is it's a question of inclusion. How much have they brought us into their inner circle? Certainly meeting their friends is step number one. Meeting their family, that's close. Their closest friends, their closest family members. This is important. That It's like rings on a tree. And as you get closer to the center, it's more powerful, right? So you are being seen on a regular basis. The guy didn't make a move on you told all his friends about you. And it, for a heterosexual guy, right? This is what you've indicated here. He's not hanging out with you because, wow, this is a cool buddy. If you feel the chemistry, he feels it too. He's just a little uncomfortable. We have to sometimes throw away what we think of as age and they should know. I could easily have gotten this letter from somebody 50 that doesn't understand why the guy is not making a move on her. But in order for somebody to progress into the physical realm, 
people who are cautious like this have to know that they, they are moving at a pace that they can sustain. So you've heard me talk about gaining ground and holding. The worst version of this is somebody who leaps way ahead, loves you up, then, well, oh, you know what? I, I, I can't really do this. I don't want to be here. Yeah, sorry. It's not going to work or ghosts you. So I would far rather have somebody move slowly and consistently because all this will be added later and know that this person cares for you. So you need to do a little work on your end. Instead of looking for the physical gesture, maybe you need to invite him out with your friends and then start to do more things one-on-one. -on -one. Give him some courage here. Not everybody is so savvy nowadays with dating. Okay, I hope this helps you. Thanks a lot for that. I think this is cute coming from one of my younger readers. Susan Winter for SusanWinter.net. Thank you. If you have a question for me, go to SusanWinter.net to the contact page below media. That's only for um, media, for producers and stuff like that. Go to the box that says video requests and send in your video request. You, we get a lot of them, but many of them are so good and I read them here. And if you'd like to work with me, please go to the consultation page. There are a couple different ways to work with me and I'd love to get to know you personally. And make sure that you click on to the live show if you're around at two o'clock Eastern on Thursdays. I would really enjoy having you in our live audience. Thank you so much, everyone.